tension and violence are rapidly escalating on the front lines of the war between Ukraine and Russia. Russia's relentless invasion plan persists despite the loss of 110,000 soldiers by the Moscow army. Reaching record losses, the Moscow army lost thousands of combat equipment and hundreds of thousands of soldiers, even for a small victory on the territory of Ukraine. We saw the best example of this situation in Bakhmut, one of the most violent front lines in Ukraine. Russia has lost thousands of soldiers and equipment in this region for about seven months. However, the Ukrainian defense forces did not give Bakhmut to the invaders despite everything. On the contrary, the Ukrainian armed forces, in addition to defending and counterattacks on the domestic fronts, also took steps towards the vital points of the Russians in the war with their deportation operations. In the past weeks, the Kiev army airstrike took place in Belgorod, one of Russia's most strategic regions for the Ukrainian war, according to the claims of the Moscow administration. Already, Belgorod had become the center of attacks during a certain period of the war. Now, armed forces of Russian civilians have been formed in Belgorod, on the border with Ukraine. Yes, the Kiev army seems to have intimidated the Russians with its cross-border operations. Especially as we entered a completely different phase in the war, the issue of airstrikes started to gain a lot of importance. Remotely managed unmanned aerial vehicles have become one of the most preferred methods in the wars of the modern era. Ukraine, on the other hand, has seriously improved itself in the field of unmanned aerial vehicles. The fact that Kiev could even target Russian lands turned the direction of the wind in the war towards Ukraine. Allegedly, after Belgorod, the Ukrainian Air Force targeted Engels, one of Russia's most strategic air bases, for the third time, shortly before the new year. With the spread of the effects of the war on Russia, the Moscow administration could no longer bombard the desired region of Ukraine as it used to be, because everything had a price. While the sounds of the first celebration of the new year were echoing on the streets of the world, a very violent explosion occurred in the city of Bryansk, Russia. The residents of the region had to meet 2023 with this explosion. According to the hot details obtained from the scene, an unmanned aerial vehicle attack was carried out on the energy infrastructure facility in the Bryansk region. As a result of the drone hitting this facility, a huge fire occurred. In the videos and photos shared on social media right after the incident, the severity of the fire and the damage caused by the explosion to the facility were revealed. After the explosion, as a result of major technical failures at the Klimovskaya Res power plant, power outages occurred in and around the area where the incident took place. Alexander Bogomaz, the governor of Russia's Bryansk region, made striking statements immediately after the drone attack in Bryansk and blamed the Kiev government for this incident. Since the Kilmovsky settlement of the city of Bryansk is bordered by Ukraine, it is highly probable that the Kiev army may have carried out this airstrike. This is how Russia made a start to January 1, 2023. But the alarm bells were not yet silent for Vladimir Putin's country. You may remember that last week the air defense sirens in the Voronezh region of Russia rang for about three minutes collectively. The Russian authorities in Voronezh announced that there was no airstrike in this region and that these sirens were sounded purely for exercise purposes. But the residents of the area did not give any credence to these explanations. Citizens in Voronezh thought that Russia was trying to cover up an airstrike in this region. In fact, the local people in this area were right in a way. Almost a week after the sirens in Voronezh went off for three minutes on January 1, 2023, a deafening explosion occurred near the Baltimore airport in this area. After the explosion late at night, black smoke started to cover the airport. According to preliminary information from the scene, the Baltimore airport was the target of drone attacks. A few days before this explosion, Moscow intelligence revealed that Su-34 fighters and bombers belonging to the Ukrainian army were observed in the Baltimore airport area where the military aviation of the Russian airspace force is located. Was the Ukrainian armed forces continuing their cross-border operations rapidly from where they left off? The moment of the explosion can be clearly seen in video footage captured by CCTV cameras and residents near the Baltimore airport. In addition, the loud sound that emerged after the drone crashed into the airport proves how effective the explosion was in the images taken. 
According to other footage taken from security cameras around Baltimore Airport, the explosion occurred at 2 o'clock in the night. Shortly after the first violent explosion, a second sound once again frightened the residents. But the sound of the second explosion was much stronger than the first. Immediately after the second explosion, the sirens of the defense systems at the Baltimore airport began to sound bitterly. The sirens of the air defense systems, which the Moscow administration had pressed for the exercise in Voronezh a week ago, were now sounding for a very striking attack. While the Russian authorities blamed Kiev for the explosion, the fact that the Baltimore airport was 178 kilometers from the Ukrainian border and that the drone itself could be launched from a much longer distance fueled these claims. In addition, Russia claimed that the 2141 unmanned aerial vehicle was used in the attack on this airport immediately after the incident. Currently, the Ukrainian Armed Forces has focused on airstrikes on Russian territory since December 2022. For this reason, the Moscow administration, in line with all these data, thought that Ukraine carried out the attack on the Baltimore airport and that security measures should be taken for new attacks in the region in the future. The fact that Ukraine has reached an unbelievable level in air attack operations constantly increases Russia's losses in the war. The Kiev army is trying to alienate the Moscow army from the war, not only with drone attacks but also with the successful performance of the artillery units and resistance of the Ukrainian soldiers on the land line. Let's take a look at the latest reports on this subject. In its latest update on Russian casualties on Facebook, the general staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces announced that about 200 Russian soldiers were killed in the Kherson Oblast. These statements are not surprising, considering that dozens of invading Russian soldiers were killed by the Kiev army in the Fedorivka and Kakovsky districts in southern Ukraine. The last update of the Ukrainian general staff on combat casualties also revealed that 115 Russian soldiers were wounded in Zaporizhia Oblast, and Kiev forces destroyed five Russian military equipment, including an anti-missile complex and two ammunition depots of the Moscow army. With this fluffy list of casualties, Russia has lost more than 780 soldiers in the last 24 hours. As the losses of the Moscow army increase, Ukraine seizes more opportunities to intensify its war strategies and counterattacks. Thanks to this, as we mentioned, the Ukrainian army is able to carry out striking airstrike operations on strategically important areas such as Belgorod, the Engels Air Base in Saratov, and most recently, the Baltimore Airport in Voronezh. Russia, which started the new year on a bad note, knows that after these recent attacks in Baltimore, the Ukrainian forces will not stand still because it would be quite illogical for the Kiev army to reduce its attacks and withdraw while it has achieved such a successful and effective pace in the war. Therefore, in the coming days, we can see the attacks of the Ukrainian armed forces on Russian territory and the military bases of the very important Moscow army in the country. To see these hot news instantly, please do not forget to follow our channel. Thank you for watching us.